Hello dear children. Let us begin with our English uh, today's English lecture. Dear children, now you are in your 9th standard. Next year that is within few months you will be uh, going to your 10th standard and almost after an year you will be give, appearing your 10th standard board exams. Now when you are uh, going to, when you are appear for your exams and when your results are out after that you will have um, so many career options for you. Few of you must already be prepared with like what you are going to do after your 10th standard. Some of you must already uh, must be in your still you must be thinking what you should do and few of you have may probably not have given it a thought as yet maybe waiting for your percentage or something but anyways when your results are out you will have to make a decision you'll have to think a lot on which career you are going to opt for and for that what is the uh, education you'll have to go in for now children we uh, have so many career options nowadays so children nowadays we have so many career options like after your 10th you can go for 11th or 12th standard depending upon your arts commerce or uh, science field then you can go for polytechnic you can also go for paramedical courses then you can go for some other courses like short term courses and other vocational courses there are so many courses which are now uh, so many options which are now available for you all and i'm very sure you must be taking the necessary guidance and help to choose your career after your 10th standard and of course after your 12th standard as well now children when we uh, take this decision it leads to a lot of confusion we have to think a lot we talk to so many people we discuss with so many people we discuss about the different options that are available we also try to see the um, which all colleges these courses are available and also we also uh, try to find out the cutoff we also find try to find out how's the faculty how's the uh, rapo of the college how is the feedback given by the people of that college or that institution so there are so many things that we think about but before we actually decide what we are going to opt for like which branch or which career option we are going to opt for we have to uh, rather we think a lot on so many as aspects of it like we think on uh, if we decide for a particular course we search first what are the career options where all can we get the placement in which country in which state is it um, is is that field uh, like in demand is that career option in demand everywhere or um, we also see what would be the salary that we would fetch if we opt for that course and uh, so many other things like uh, whether you like that what you like what your hobbies are and is that career option in connection with your hobbies we also think about uh, like there are few things which are really very temporary uh, which are in demand for a temporary phase so opting for such options which are for temporary time will really not make sense so we think with the, whether these career options will be applicable or with, will they give us returns in terms of money and job satisfaction and uh, uh, say you know uh, giving us some creativity and uh, scope for creativity and some promotions and uh, some competition so there are so many things that we think about before making a decision so so uh, after uh, giving a due thought to all these options that are available or all these factors which affect our decision or which 
help us take our decision when we are done with the thorough study of all these things we make a decision now once we decide to do something and when for example after your 10th you decide to go for um, say computer science so want to make your uh, career in computer science or in uh, information technology so you have to take science after your 10th so you decide on to taking science now uh, when you choose the subjects for your 11 standard science that time if your uh, interests are uh, computer science you have to take uh, in it or computer science in your uh, uh, subjects so once when you are done with that and when your admission is secured after that say after your 11th standard if you feel that no i'm not interested in computer science i would rather prefer going to the bio side i would like to do bsc in microbiology or i would like to go to the um, um forensic side or uh, make my career in forensic or uh, something related to biology so is that really possible if you have opted out for bio in 11th standard you are you do not have bio as your subject in 11th standard so after your 12th you may not be able to take bio as your career option so once we make a choice and once we start uh, moving on that path once we decide that path it is hardly uh, or you can see it's next to impossible to come back from that path and follow a different option so if we do so we'll be wasting few of the years of our life and sometimes it is an irreversible process rather many a times so children whenever we make a choice it has to be a very well um, considered has to be considered very well it has to be thought from different angles and then the uh, choice has to be made now you must be telling this is our english lecture and why our teacher is telling us so much about the career options and choosing the right option and how do we choose and how do we go about it this is so children because today we are going to discuss our poem 3.3 the road not taken the road not taken which is written by a very well known poet robert frost now children in this poem also the poet has discussed or has told us about the same situation similar situation where in he is standing at the diversion of the road he is walking in the forest and he is you know, he comes across a diversion and then he is uh, he stands there quite, for quite some time and then he decides whether he should follow this path or should he follow this path so before deciding that he stands there and tries to see observe a path very carefully to the extent he could see to the extent he could see he sees the path how is it he tries to analyze it he tries to um you know uh, just like um, analyze it and make uh, think over it that is is these conditions or are these things favorable for him will he be able to sustain that will he be able to will he rather like to walk on this path after seeing it and after examining it for a long time he decides to take the other path now why he decides to take the other path or why he decides to uh, not take the first one or all these things we will see or we will discuss in this poem called the road not taken now children this entire poem has a hidden meaning hidden meaning means this poem is like a symbol for some other thing actually the road represents our life and the poet is saying the road that we do not take in our life 
uh, and the poet is discussing or um, telling us about the, rather the title is telling us about the road that we have not opted for or that we have not taken in our life that is the road not taken our feelings about the road that we have not taken in our life is expressed in this poem sometimes in our life also we have to uh, we have a diversion wherein we can choose any one path or any one direction how do you decide which path we should choose and which one we should not how does this decision affect our future and in future what do you think about the path or about the road which you have not chosen that is what the poet tells about himself now children in this poem the poet is uh, telling about his own experience and he is correlating it with his life now it happens quite a few times in our life as well that we have to go through options or choices so we can consider so very simple things like uh, for example after your 10th standard or after your um, after your 12th standard if your parents say that if you score good marks we will buy you a, a a bike or you can say a phone so when they say we are going to buy you a phone you start thinking on should i go in for a samsung should i go in for an mi should i go for one plus so these are so many options and then you start to analyze oh the samsung will have probably it will hang one plus the camera and the features are very beautiful very nice but it's very expensive so should i think about mi but then that's a chinese company so should i so there are so many options and so many things you consider before you take a decision so now uh, when you have to choose any one out of them and we cannot go back on that option now like when once you decide you are going to choose a particular phone so it is not that you buy the phone and then after few days you tell your parents that no no this is not the one i wanted i want the other one you'll get a nice tight slap and you'll your phone which you are you have got few days back will also be taken away back by them so whenever uh, whichever path we choose or whichever option we uh, choose we will continue going ahead on the same path so we get more choices so we get more choices we select more options and we go on and on and on that particular way but we cannot go back now once you have uh, one like since we are considering the example of a mobile phone so once you have chosen a mobile phone you have bought it so you cannot think of buying another one in the near future but what you can do is what all um options or what all features are there in that phone that you can go on exploring and you can um, ex uh, add on some memory to it and download some features uh, download some um, apps on that so that variations you can do but you cannot change the phone so once you have made a choice you can have a slight deviation or you can have some options amongst that also that itself but you cannot go back to the uh to the other option so the way the road or the path we choose decides our future and our destination and this is the thing the poet wants to tell us this is the important message that the poet wants to give to us he wants to say that the choice that we make has an impact on our future or on our future life and if we make a wrong choice we have to regret it for uh, and we cannot go back on it so we must be wise and make the choice very carefully this is the message the poet wants to give us now children this very beautiful message or very uh, important message in our life that we should make our choices very uh, very wisely very carefully is given uh, this message is given by the poet robert For frost let us uh, have a brief information about the poet he was an american poet 
he was a poet an educator and an educator he was born on 26th march 1874 in san francisco united states of america he died on 29th jan 1963 his famous books were stopping by woods on a snowy snowy evening a boy's will and many more he was the first poet to honor a us presidential inauguration his first published poetry collection was a boy's will and this his most famous poem is the road not taken which we are going to discuss now children this poem is really so very famous and it is so very uh, liked by the people like uh, this poem is included in cbsc 10th standard um, state board 9th standard earlier this poem was included in the old syllabus of cbsc 8th standard and 9th standard so consecutive two years the children had to study the same poem it was it is so very famous and so very liked by the people so children let us begin with the poem the road not taken by robert frost let us see the first stanza two roads diverge in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and we went traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth now children let us first see the word meanings diverge means separate and took a different direction also also called as a fork now if you can see in the picture i'll just show you so here there are two diversions right this is the road which is going this way and this way also so this is a diversion the word undergrowth means dense growth of plants and bushes so when we see to this path here you can see there is dense uh, growth of plants and bushes and so we cannot see the road after quite far distance also yellow wood means a forest with decomposing leaves with leaves which are veering out they are turned yellow in color like when there is uh, the leaves shed of the plants that time the yellow or uh, the woods or rather the plants trees which are green in color those green leaves turn yellow and then they fall down so this um, time of the period or uh, this time of the season when when the leaves turn yellow and um, they shed that time is discussed in this poem now let us see the meaning of the first uh, first stanza the yellow wood represents a world full of people where people have been live, living for many years so the world is also full of weathering people or the old people the poet means to say that he is in such a place where there are older things he is in an old place and he is comparatively new that is he is a young man so he says that he is in a dilemma or he is in a confusion he is walking on a road and now he has reached a place where are where there are two ways or two paths and he cannot walk on both the paths he has to choose one out of them 
and be one traveler as he is alone he cannot travel or walk on both the paths so alone so uh, for long he stood and looked down one as far as i could so where did the what uh, did the poet do he kept standing there and kept looking carefully at a path as long as he could as long as he could means to as long distance as he can see it's not that as long how long i can stand here it's not that long so he is this refers to how long distance he can see from that particular place so he stood there and he kept on watching for as long as long distance as he could and why was he looking so carefully at this part he was looking so carefully because he wanted to know or to judge how is the path is it suitable for him basically he was trying to analyze it he was trying to observe it and analyze it and how far was it see uh, was he trying to see how long distance he was trying to see to where it bent in the undergrowth so when he was observing the path to some extent he could see the path but after afterwards the path was hidden in the dense growth of plants and bushes so now children if we correlate this stanza to our life we notice that so many times in our life also we have choices or options and we have to choose any one so we also take our time to analyze and observe the options about its good and bad which one suits us more its benefits its drawbacks and then we make a decision or a choice Thank mm-hmm. you.